Hey guys and gals, RW down here in the shop. I've got a uh, walnut target grip order to fill. I wanted to show you how I go about it. I'm going to give you an overview of my process so you can kind of understand how I make grips. Uh, first thing I do is I get select material, okay, and I get it to size this way. I'm going from about here to here, okay, to get my size. And then I cut it right in half. And this is where I actually cut it in half, is right here. And you can see the flow is continuous. The idea is, is that when the grips are folded together, you're going to get a wonderful pattern on the heel of your target grip. Okay? It's just an aesthetic feature, it's just something I like to do. Um, so that's how those are going together. Now you can see I got my little arrows marking it up out you also see a line going across here well that's where my grip is going to stop okay so what I do is I position my grip so I have about a sixteenth here about an eighth there okay that leaves me with about an eighth there okay that I'm going to get rid of I line up the grip exactly along this line that gives me a quarter of an inch that I put my little curve that goes around the main tube okay gives it that nice grip onto the gun secures it in a lot of different ways also gives you a little more meat to wrap your hands around then I drill a hole for the uh, safety I drill a hole up for the grip screw that's before I make any marks on it okay and then I enlarge the hole so it'll fit around this and then I use a screw and I sock this down to make sure it's not going to move okay everything's secured exactly where I want it and at that point I know where I've got to uh, remove material and leave material okay and you can see the grip frame okay has a step in it here and a step in it there and all I do is I just go straight up and make a 90 degree transferring these marks very accurately here and here I'm taking my square I'm going sh -sh -sh. And then I remove all of that material and I leave some material proud right that'll sock this in At that point I'm lined up I can sock the grip down with a screw through this big block I can put it in a vise and I can squeeze it and it'll leave these two marks from these two pens in the wood and that tells me where to drill little relief holes for them. I do the exact same thing both sides. Everything is exactly symmetrical in that regard so that everything lines up perfectly so that when you put this block on top of this block the grip hole screw goes all the way through, the safety hole goes all the way through and they line up perfectly. Okay? At that point you have something to work with. So with the grip screwed in place on the big wood block then I trace around it. I trace around it and I know that's what I'm going to be cutting out on the bandsaw. But before I cut that out I turn it on edge and I trace my profile. So for a right handed grip it would be a thumb ledge on this side. And for a left handed grip it would be on this side. Okay, So do whatever I'm going to do, make my shapes, get them all lined up. Then I run it through the saw this way on the bandsaw, cut out all that material that I can. I lay it this way and I cut out all the material I can that way. And then it's just hand sanding and sanding with power tools uh, to remove all the rest of the material. A lot of stock removal. And you end up with my typical target grip profile that I then sand down to 320 and then I apply my finish and I steel wool and I apply my finish and then I ship them out and that's what you do when you want to make some really nice grips okay I'll give you some more on this on another video thanks for watching this overview on how to make target grips